Creating Subcircuits from Schematics, Part 2 Macro in Macro TINA allows a hierarchical macro structure. That is, macros can contain other macros inside, and so on. Note, the macros inside a macro can contain not only schematics, but also SPICE netlist and HDL code, such as VHDL, Verilog, Verilog AMS, and more. We will demonstrate the creation of such macros in other videos. Let's use our half-adder macro created in our previous tutorial, Creating Subcircuits from Schematics Part 1, to create a full adder macro containing two half-adder macros. Insert the newly created half-adder twice into a new circuit. Then add the additional components and wires as shown on the picture. Rename the labels as required. Add the OR gate. Now create and save the new macro with the new macro wizard from the Tools menu. Note, although the automatic symbol creation is very convenient, you can also create your own schematic symbols with Tina's Schematic Symbol Editor and assign macros to them. Let's use this feature with an existing symbol. We will show the creation of such a symbol in another video. Select New Macro Wizard from the Tools menu. Enter the macro name, Full Adder. Select the suggested symbol from the library. Then set the file name and press Save. The new full adder macro is ready to use. Let's insert the newly created macro and check its content. If you double click the macro and press Enter Macro, you can see and edit the content of the macro. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud, the cloud based multi language installation free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.